day, YouTubers, and welcome to Domic Nation. I am de making deliveries today. I uh, have to drop off a DVD to a client, and somebody asked, what is he making DVDs for? Dance recitals. And thank you very much for people who respond uh, to those comments, and when you guys know the answer to them, that's awesome. Thank you. Uh, and then Carol bought me a, a thing of Tim Hortons coffee, but she bought me the coarse ground. And uh, of course you need fine grind, uh, fine, fine ground coffee for the coffee maker. Uh, the coarse ground is for like the plunger thing. When you press your own coffee. So I have to exchange that. I have to drop off some stuff to a friend of mine. Uh, and then we had to hit, head to Staples. Uh, and then I gotta go to the Apple store and buy, <clears throat> um, it's an adapter for the Firewire 800 to Thunderbolt because the new, brand new computer doesn't have Firewire 800. And uh, so, and I've got a whole bunch of drives that all have Firewire 800. So I need this adapter very, very badly. Also, uh, I might be getting a thing called a Drobo because I've got so much uh, footage and so much material, so much, so much video material that I don't want to lose anything. So, and people always tell you, you know, drives do quit. There's no getting around it. A drive will fail. So, uh, I'm gonna get this thing called a Drobo N5. So it has five bays and it's. Um, it's a storage unit, but and it has Thunderbolt on it, which is even cooler. I'm not sure if I, I'm, chances are I could probably edit to it. Um, whether I'd want to or not, I don't know. But what you do is you fill it with drives and it, it's redundant. So it backs itself up over the other drives. So if a drive actually failed, you can literally pull out a drive with all your data on it throw it in the garbage or smash it whatever you want to do to make sure nobody else gets that information but your data is spread over all the drives so it's a very cool uh, concept uh, it'll keep all my stuff safe and uh, unfortunately I think you know keeping video data on it there's a couple of things I don't know about like if you pull something off the Drobo uh, like a, let's say I had a video of the um, whatever, uh, Tim Horton's video, and I just didn't want it on my Drobo anymore, and when I pulled that one file off, would it be gone off the Drobo, or would it still be backed up on the other drives? See, those are the things I don't know. Does the Drobo actually become one big hard drive? That's what I think it is. But it has a whole bunch of little drives in it, so, like I said, you can back them up over each other. All right, so we're off to do drop-off number one. And we're back! Uh, a couple things. I wanted to again say uh, Happy Father's Day to all the dads from yesterday. And we, I basically worked because <laughs> I had to get the the um, uh, Harvey's video done as soon as possible because I have a whole week set up uh, where I got to get a bunch of stuff done because we're going to the cottage for a week. So I want to make sure I'm uh, all set and ready for next week. So I worked on the Harvey's thing. Then we went to dinner and we went to JY Panda in Alcona. It's got great Japanese food. Um, I like the panda roll, the, uh, uh, the bubba gump roll. And there's one more on there that I always forget the name of. But it's, uh, oh, the rainbow roll. So I had two rainbow rolls. And because it's actually, this is actual sushi. So it's, I think it's California roll. And then they put uh, four different kinds of raw fish on top. Ooh, it's good. Anyway, so uh, again, happy, th happy Father's Day, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Father's Day to everybody who uh, is a dad, and, and Happy Father's Day to everybody who still has a father. So, uh, yeah, let's get going. All right, I dropped off the DVD, uh, dropped off some stuff to a friend of mine. I uh, had to hit Tim Hortons, drop off that coffee, and grab myself a double-double. Yeehaw! And, uh, yeah, let's do it. Coffee time. 
I'll take you through the drive through with me. Are you ready? Hi, can I get a large double double, please? That's it. Thank you. 190. Thank you. My wife bought this for me, and she bought the wrong kind. She bought the quartz crown instead of the, the regular. Kind. Thank you. And it's outdated too. It's for part of my Father's Day present. Oh, okay. Thanks. Okay, people. Let's motorhead! Motorhead! So, awesome Tim Hortons. Just totally exchanged the coffee through the window. I was thinking, you know, some places would be like, oh, could I see the, uh, the invoice or the, the receipt, the bill? And uh, she's like, no problem. Did it. And then she was funny, as I, I was almost gonna drive away, but I kind of looked back to tell her, oh, it's also expired. Um, she uh, was examining it, which is good, because you know some guy just drives by and gives her a bag of coffee and asks for a brand new one. And uh, but it was legit, because that's what I am. I'm legit. Anyway, did you notice my shirt? Heisenberg. That's from Carl when he was down in the states. Okay, off to. Staples with my coffee. Well, I just dropped off the uh, case covers to get redone. It's gonna take about an hour. Unfortunately, she's backlogged with other stuff too, and she realizes that you know they were supposed to have my job done right the first time last Thursday. So she's doing the best she can. I give her a high five because <laughs> I know I, I hate being in their situation. It sucks, because now she's pressured. She's gonna have probably a really crappy day. So I like to treat people as best I can. You know, I'm not super panicking about it, but I did ha I did send it in last Thursday, so it would be done so I didn't have to worry about it this week. And here it is Monday morning, and I'm worrying about my job that I have to get done. Oh, so, treat people nicely, and what goes around comes around. Actually, I can get through the Canadian Tire parking lot to the mall. We're gonna go to the Apple store and uh, get that adapter that I need so badly. And then we're gonna zip across town all the way over to the other side to Canada Computers. And look at my, my seat makes a squeaky noise. And that's just not good. New car time. No, it's not. Okay, to the mall. This is the coolest thing they ever did was to add this driveway to attach this driveway, this area, to the mall area. This wasn't here before. So you had to go back out onto the big road, all the way down there to another set of lights, turn left, but this totally takes that out of the equation, which is awesome. Somebody was thinking, okay, Apple Store. We are once again at Upper Canada Mall, where we've got fuel. It'll take us a long way. Apple store, let's go. So as I'm walking through the mall, I'm realizing everything's closed. And uh, see, everything, everything is closed. And I got no, it's like 20 after nine. And I just realized that the mall doesn't open till 10. Well, the Apple store is open. So I'm happy I got my adapter and my coffee that almost spilled on my face. So now it's off to uh, Canada Computers because I know they have the Drobo TN5. So it looks like I'm here a little bit early. It doesn't open until 10. Got like 15 minutes to wait. Well, they don't have the Drobo here. I, th I looked online, but I didn't, wasn't swift enough to check and see if 
they had it in stock at the store. It just looked like they had it in stock, I guess. And uh, <clears throat> while I was waiting for them to open, I went to the Royal LePage just to get some information, ideas on commercial commercial buildings or industrial units for commercial use. And uh, basically as, as my business grows, uh, it would be nice to buy a property that over time, instead of renting, buy a unit or a building, use it for X amount of years, hopefully also maybe having a tenant or two and they pay rent, which helps you pay for the mortgage. So it's not a huge burden. And then when you want to fold your business in, you either keep the building and then rent out the space that you were in, and then you now have this income property that I've heard so much about. And uh, then you always make money off this building as long as there's tenants in it and you don't have to carry it because there's no tenants in it. So it's either I do that or I buy a house with like a nice loft and I turn my loft into a business. All right, just finished up at Staples. Ah! And uh, she cut them perfect to the right size. So it's time to go home, finish up my DVD orders, and then possibly uh, either later on today or tonight, go and drop them off at the studio. And uh, I'll be done with that. That'll be nice. Weight lifted drop. Actually, I was just thinking, I might buy the Silver City and Boston Pizza, uh, but there's a Best Buy here and they might carry the Drobo. And that'll save me from going all the way up to Barry and going to that specific uh, Canada Computers. Let's go see if they got it. Window up. Good enough. Let's do it. So it turns out that they carry the Drobo, but it's not in store, you'd have to order it. But they only have the four bay one, whereas I want the five bay one. So now I'm just looking at TVs. Well, as you can see, I had to gas up. It's, uh, I had to go around just south of here uh, at the Bradford greenhouses. It looked like there was a major accident and uh, everybody is stopping and turning around and going down to all the other streets. And just as I turned, my gas uh, warning low light came on and ding! And uh, so right here is $1.12.9. $12 Across the streets, $1.12.9. First time they've ever matched these guys, but this is the cheapest gas. Uh, I was just down in Newmarket, as you know, and it was $1.16. And then when I got into Bradford, it was $1.18. I'm like, oh my gosh, these guys better be cheap. And, <coughs> excuse me, they're definitely the most inexpensive gas around. So I've been gassing up here pretty much for the last little while. As you can see, we're home. And I just noticed we have two finches living inside that light. Um, we try to not let them live in the lights, but anyway. Somebody asked the other day, how are the marigolds doing? And that's the biggest one we have. All the other ones died. Uh, the, the time that they were starting to come up, they were like that. And then somebody forgot to water them when we were away for a couple days and uh, it fried them. So these are the only ones that were super successful. That one and that one. And then Carol replanted for me and all these are doing really well now. And those marigolds are doing well. But as you can see, we need to uh, definitely water them every single day. And I think we missed two days when we had like a heat wave. Okay, it's time to walk Sammy. Look at Louie. Louie, look at her, woo! Crazy eyes, they glow at nighttime, it's cool. 
Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday, June 23rd. Uh, I just want to tally up or round off yesterday. Uh, somewhere uh, late afternoon after I finished my editing, um, I really wanted to drop off the big case of DVDs orders to the studio, which is up in Barrie. And I'm thinking, while I'm up in Barrie, I would like to take Megan to go see the Avengers. Uh, while I'm up there too, maybe I can get my Drobo, but we didn't have time for the Drobo because we needed to drive from here to drop off the DVDs, to grab some food, which we went, we went to Harvey's. And Harvey's has like a triple cheese bacon Angus burger, and it was really good. Uh, and bacon, yeah. Cheese, bacon, Angus burger. Nice. Uh, and we barely had enough time to pound that down to get to the theater to watch movie, which was a great movie. Um, a little darker than the other ones. Uh, um, then you know, any of the other storylines to any of the other characters, plus the Avengers last movie. And this one has had this really weird, I don't know, it's had this very down look to it in a bunch of parts, but the action and everything about it was amazing. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. wasn't as uh, quick witted, I guess you could say in this one as he has in the past in any of his other movies, uh, whether he's Iron Man or in the Avengers Iron Man. Anyway, so uh, that's what happened last night, and then I came home. I don't even know what I did last night when I got home. What did I do? Uh, nothing really. I just went to bed. Oh, I watched um, um, some taste-made videos on, on the Apple TV just to see what other people are doing food review-wise and stuff like that. Anyway, now it's time for happy birthday shout-outs. I just wanted to uh, cover one thing that happened yesterday. The border that went around my my video, it was just um, me compressing it in media encoder, not understanding media encoder very well, and it exported it, I don't know, 1440 or whatever, and then it went to, went to YouTube. YouTube decided to, let's put it in this little box, and that's what happened. <laughs> Just a heads up on that, I'm gonna try and fix that today. I actually downloaded uh, premi um, the new uh, compressor, compressor 4.2, I believe. So um, I've been going through and trying to make presets the same as the other presets I used to have. So there's a, a response to that comment, or those comments about the black box around the video. <laughs> And now it's time for happy birthday shout outs. And yesterday, my, I guess, Carol's cousin Randy's birthday. Uh, and then Nathan J, Anthony M, Nathan E, uh, Nick Barnes. Um, I don't know why it's funny. It's just because I know that person, I guess. Uh, Linda K and Stephen Moody. And then we have on, that was for Monday, June 22nd. Today is June 23rd. And it is Jamie Lee, uh, Annie Q, Steve D, Aaron F, Robert B, Daniel C, and Brandon Hutton. Brandon was is a very good supporter of KBD Productions TV and helped support some of the, um, uh, what do you call it? The trips, the uh, the West Coast food tour. That's right, the food tours. And uh, so thanks a lot, Brandon. We still have to do a video together. I'm not sure how we're going to get this thing done. Uh, anyway, happy birthday, everybody! Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below as to what you ate for your birthday dinner, because it's usually up to you what you get to eat, where you get to eat. So I like to hear what you guys do and eat. Thanks. Bye.